Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. Hope you are wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkin. Today's video is a strange one. This is the 121B. The recent update 10.3 uh, had so many changes to T10 tanks. Nearly all the tanks kind of got redefined into something by having their DPM nerfed or their penetration nerfed. Or, or their shell velocity chopped in half, or their armor profile changed, uh, or their mobility factors drastically altered. This is weird, but they did absolutely nothing to this tank. Zero, zip, nutter. Apart from, they added a different game mechanic that until now has only been part of the Chinese light tank tree. And that is adaptive concealment. And the crazy thing about this, and the really weird thing about this, is the tank was just fine before. It was really, really good. This is an old video. Uh, this is like a month or two before 121B. It's in fact when I got back from the recent Blitz Ultimate Cup uh, casting, and I'd seen a couple of the teams run the 121B, and I just wanted to see, you know, if it was worthwhile and if it was any good. Uh, and yet. It was wild. I was like, well, this is good. This is a good tank. Does well. Does the thing. Is fast. Is relatively well armored. Has reasonable penetration. Has great DPM. I don't really understand. And then update 10.3 came along. And some tanks were nerfed and some were buffed. And with this, they just gave it the adaptive concealment mechanic. That's basically... Um, your tank becomes invisible more quickly, right? In seven seconds, instead of the, the normal 10. Unless you're hit by a T100 LT, the Russian, where um, you go in 17 seconds instead of 20. But when you're spotted by an opponent, a red eye icon appears above them. They're the ones that have spotted you when you can see them. If they're behind concealment, you don't get to see a red eye just because they're behind concealment. And that allows you to have this crazy cool advantage where you can literally see both who's spotting you and who to be aware of when you're going out to not get spotted and you can also see if they're spotting you you can see the exact moment when you drop off the radar when the red eye disappears from next to their name and with one fell swoop of the pen the wargaming team have turned the 121b into a good fun medium that was well positioned into a good fun medium that has this really good mechanic that allows you to know exactly what's going on like i can see that he hasn't spotted me because no red eye has appeared on that player if a red eye appears it will appear before the light bulb even goes off to show you that you've been spotted which is generally about two seconds after and this is such an important mechanic for players who are map aware, who have good game sense, who are capable of, you know, tracking multiple sets of data within a game. And you can just re see how instantly the red eye popped next to that E50M after, well before, sorry, the actual light bulb went off next to me. And that's really important stuff. It's it's such an important thing if you want to be successful at the game. And so now you're looking at a tank that... I honestly think that they just felt like they had to do something to it. Like they'd done something with everything else. And then they changed the 907 pretty drastically. The Object 907, which is the Russian uh, premium tier 10 tank. This is, of course, a premium tier 10 tank. And it has apparently a 140% credit coefficient. So you can drive this and go as close to making money at tier 10 in a reasonable fashion as you're ever going to go. Um, even when you're losing, you still tend to receive cash with this tank, which is pretty bloody impressive, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, and that, especially at tier 10, like as long as you're doing reasonable amounts of stuff, you're going to gain credits. I just think that this may have been a little too strong see how i know not to pull back there i don't have to pull back from that tracking shot because no red eye appeared next to that target that is such a good mechanic to have 
It means that you can tell when you have to adjust your play style, when you need to change your position, when, when you just need to move. It saves you from taking damage. Like it, it's, it saves you from making bad trades. Not that I don't make plenty of bad trades anyway. And it's neat as a pin in terms of mobility. 56 kilometers an hour top speed, but an effective horsepower uh, ratio after you factor in your terrain resistances, which are superb, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and one of 31.3. That is a good number, okay? That is the kind of number that is right up there um, with Russian med territory. I mean, you're not as good as a T62A or a Leo, which are 37 and 38, but let's, for instance, put you up against an M48A1 pattern, which is 20.46 effective horsepower per ton, or maybe uh, an FV4202, which is 32.1 and is very, very mobile. You get all that and you get the mobility. And you can see how I've managed to turn what was a disastrous position into a lovely little brawl and then a smooth as you like drive away for hard cover, leaving that E50M floundering around the back. <laughs> I mean, it's a great little tank. Just putting myself in a spot all the time to do more and more damage. It's something that I found surprising that it got buffed. And as I was saying, the Object 907 got given what was some very strange buffs. They removed a lot of the armor. They made the gun even better. And they gave it the ability to hit people and make them spotted for 20 seconds. The tracer shells. And if you're wondering what I was doing there, I was just making sure that we cleared that Type 57 Heavy. Because you, you last thing you want to do is leave an auto loader on like a one shot and have him drop another 1200 into a teammate and lose the game. So I was very happy to trade my tank or a 57 heavy there and it felt like i was just really to be honest it was all gravy after that lovely little bit of um brawling around the top of the a cap there c cap rather um it's low profile and diminutive size make it very very easy to drive in a russian fashion and it's got six degrees of gun depression now that's not a lot right that's in fact not great for gun depression, but you don't have like you do with some of the other Chinese tanks where it feels like you've literally got negative gun depression. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how upset it was, upsetting it was for me trying to drive these type, like some of the Chinese tanks with five degrees of gun depression. Like six is not enough for me, but when you get lower than six, things get drastic. So, when you're on maps like this, and the T62A has seven, by the way. Um, when you're on maps like this, you're all right. It's flat, and you can turn things into a DPM fight. You try not to make trades, and that's why I'm trying to get back around this corner so I can track him and then maybe turn it into a place where I get two shots to his one, which is exactly what we did. Uh, as we pull out there, put another one. Never miss a chance to put damage in. I always say, damage makes the world go round. Here he goes. Get another tracking shot. Not quite, but we get a high roll. Happy days. And you've got to remember, this is not some mega DPM tank. This has 3,463 DPM. You can put yourself in positions where you can just basically out-trade people. Uh, it's quite impressive. You're able to perma-track people. It's, it's got that, that uh, 350 alpha, which is very impressive. Um, so being able to do that 350 alpha, uh, put adrenaline on and do a perma track. I mean, 350 alpha, it doesn't sound like much, but it's a, a proper 105 millimeter gun, uh, which is not what you get when you're running something like a, a 62A, which has been buffed to 330 alpha. And that's been a really good buff for the 62A. Or, uh, you know, you're running one of those kind of tanks that like an M48 pattern or an M60, something along those lines, where your, your alpha, like the poor old Object 140 is now 300 alpha. So it's got to fire 12.7 rounds a minute to get to 3,800. You've got 3,460 alpha, 
DPM, which is lower, but you've only got to fire 9.8 times a minute to get there. It means you've got to expose yourself left. You can get max rolls for more. And I just think having more damage is never a problem. Like the more you can front load your damage, the more it becomes a safer way to put DPM out. Anyway, I'm Bushka. I hope you're enjoying the regular content. Uh, if you are, please leave a like and a subscribe. Um, I look at the stats and there's a lot of people watching who aren't subs. So why not just hit that big button and come along for the ride. Look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. Grab this tank if you ever get the opportunity. It's well worth a crate. And uh, until next time, bye for now.